Gomezzi Entertainment. Hello everybody, and welcome to another Oldies but Goldies review. We're doing a classic today. We're going to be doing Terminator 1984. This is the movie that put James Cameron on the map, and I'm really excited to be doing a review for it. Just to let you know, every once in a while you see an info icon appear on the screen. If you click that, you can do a poll and answer questions. And, you know, every once in a while my videos will have that and you can check out what other people think. So uh, that's kind of cool. Anyway, let's get into the Terminator review. I'm d -Labs. Let's do this. In the 21st century, a weapon will be invented like no other. Damn right, like no other. The Terminator is sent from the future by Skynet at one last attempt to kill John Connor, the leader of the Resistance and the savior of mankind. At the same time they're sending back the Terminator, John Connor breaks into Skynet and finds a time displacement equipment, sends Kyle Reese back to 1984 to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. And that's exactly where the movie picks up. You first see the Terminator arrive, followed by Kyle Reese in two different locations. It's a race against time. Who will get to Sarah Connor first? This builds up the suspense and tension with a huge payoff where all three meet in this really cool looking club. There's a song playing in the background that will probably stick in your head for the rest of your life. After Kyle and Sarah escape the club, the movie's pretty much non-stop action from there with only a few parts of the movie that slow down to let you breathe. Whenever the Terminator and Kyle Reese have their cat and mouse battle scenes are truly thrilling with a very dark and gritty atmosphere that captures what the early 1980s would feel like. You know, with the rusted out vehicles, the dark and scary alleys, and just what everyone's wearing. It's kinda like a picture from the 1800s. It's the closest way we're ever gonna get to see what that time and place was like. Arnold Schwarzenegger only says 18 lines of dialogue in less than 100 words in the whole movie but you hardly notice that with such an intimidating and threatening presence of this unstoppable killing machine. Michael Bean does an excellent job as this fearless protector. He's like the everyman. He doesn't have huge muscles or no karate and he knows he's in a losing situation but he doesn't care because he already has the prize, Sarah Connor. He'll run forever if he has to. Linda Hamilton is perfectly cast as Sarah Connor a 19 year old girl with a normal life that gets destroyed and ripped away from her. She's thrown into a conflict that she herself has caused. And uh, uh, to be honest, she's really hot, but uh, let's forget about that. The special effects is great, with a lot of gruesome practical effects. Great example is when the Terminator has to fix himself in the hotel room. You can clearly tell which one's the fake Arnold and which one's the real Arnold. But I still think this does a better job to show how gruesome skin can be ripped off someone's face than CGI does. CGI looks too clean and nice. So the practical effects do look pretty cool. I wish I could say the same thing about the stop motion because honestly it looked pretty uh, rough. Like things look out of frame. There isn't no smoothness to it so it's very unconvincing when you're watching it. So I give this a 9 out of 10. I do want to mention a few things while the credits are rolling. The soundtrack in this movie is incredible. Has a very menacing robotic sound during the chase scenes that really gets you excited and involved in what's happening on the screen. The Terminator has so much to offer. It's a science fiction action thriller with romance thrown in for good measure. And besides Conan the Barbarian, this is the best performance Arnold Schwarzenegger I think has ever done in his whole career. Hey, do you know how James Cameron even thought up the Terminator in the first place? He had a nightmare about the Terminator. The Terminator was crawling towards him with no legs and a kitchen knife. He took that concept, added story elements from a Twilight Zone episode, and there you go. You got the masterpiece that will live on forever. The Terminator. Okay, that's not Terminator thing, but anyway. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel. Have a good one. Yeet. You'll be with us soon. You'll be with us soon.